good morning fishy folks happy water change wednesday today will be an around the world fish room tour all right fishy folks it's wednesday about 5 a.m once again i am up early because i don't sleep so uh i figured it's the end of february let's do an around the world fish room tour the first thing i want to start with is my red dragon guppy tank there's two things in this tank that are strange can you pick up on what those two things are just look for a second the first thing is this platy that's in here how a platy got in here when they're on the rack behind me i can only imagine is from the moss maybe i grabbed some moss out of that tank i didn't clean it out properly i don't know that's what i'm guessing that's what i'm going with and the other thing is there's a sponge filter but no bubbles now there's fry in this tank i'm quite happy uh, i found fry a couple days ago but i only saw two and then uh yesterday when i was feeding i i, I don't know counted maybe maybe 10 or 12 that i saw uh up in the moss so yeah, I got to go check why there's no air. The platy itself isn't a ginormous problem. I mean, it's not going to be breeding with these guys. It's too small to eat fry. So uh, it looks like this female also has some fry ready to come out because those males are chasing her like there's a delicious treat. All right, let's move on to the glass belly guppies. So this tank is sort of disastrous at the moment only because... Uh, I sold, I had a bunch of plecos for Mike out in Colorado, who lives in the same town as one lovely Priscilla from Priscilla MK Art. And uh, so I got a bunch of plecos for him. I put them through quarantine and I sent them out to him this week. So this tank is now empty. In this tank was this piece of wood and that filter. <coughs> Excuse me. And whatever bacteria was on those guys i wanted to you know try to keep alive so i put them in this glass belly guppy tank right next door um i'm not sure if there's fry i mean there is a little guy right there where somewhere in this picture i'm sure um there's a little guy but i i haven't seen any fry fry all of a sudden this guy popped up now it is quite possible he's been in see there he is he's been in this tank the whole time or there's other fry in here, but you know, they're glass bellies, so they're hard to see. Waiting for these to, to grow up. Not sure I love them, but we'll see. Oh, 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 there's another one. Maybe there's fry in here. Where shall we go next? Shall we go see Han and Leia? Let's go see Han and Leia. So, my Oscars. A couple of people told me, turn the light off. Um, you know, they need places to hide, blah, blah, blah. So. I, I have the light off now. It's not on the timer anymore. It doesn't go on. Um, <clears throat> but I still need to find some decor for them to, you know, hide in. At least they're swimming around now. So, Han is the dark one. Leia is the light one. That's right. Star Wars names. And, uh, yeah, they're doing fine. I mean, they eat when I throw some pellets in there. They, they gobble them up. And I also put my ginormous pleco in there. Um, and I'll show you why in a couple minutes when we get over to the other rack, but yeah, they seem to be doing fine. Um, I tell you what though, quarantining these two tiny fish in a 90 gallon was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Um, I really should have put them in a 20, let them go through quarantine and then, uh, you know, not use so much medication, but I didn't think. And by the time I had them in here and, and getting acclimated, in, they were all cranky. So I didn't want to, you know, re-get them cranky afide, if you know what I mean. All right. Shall we move to a goldfish tank? Someone commented that we need a name for the goldfish. So I'd like you to submit your names for this goldfish. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. If you're a goldfish expert and can tell me, boy or girl, male or female. Uh, I would like a gender-specific name. I'm sort of old-school like that. I don't want to have to call it Pat and just guess. You know, or Devin. Or Skylar. I have a niece named Skylar. And she's awesome. And Skylar's a girl's name. 
So, Dylan. Dylan's another boy's name. I've seen girls named Dylan. No. Anyway, sorry. Old school. Cranky. Tired. Goldfish name, what do you think? Hi, Goldfish. Got this ginormous playground now. And of course, any duckweed that was in this this disaster of a forest up in here. Oh, there's still a little duckweed in there. What are you doing? Eat this duckweed. All right. Shall we go see some plecos? This is my colony of L144 lemon blue eye bristle nose plecos and ginormous snails. I feed these guys quite a bit. Uh, I also clean this tank more than any other tank, believe it or not, because there's a lot of uh, detritus. I think there are seven or eight of these guys. I don't remember. Um, I originally bought five, and then I was going to go buy five more, and he only had a few, and long story. But um, So, yeah. I don't think there's any breeding going on. I still think they're a little too young, but, you know, we got a bunch of different options for them when they're ready. And I got to take that fork out, and there's another fork. We'll be feeding cucumber this morning. Here is a very, very pregnant guppy that I thought for sure would drop fry as soon as I put her in here, but it took her three days to uh, stop pouting and, and come out and play. And uh, still no fry, at least none that I can see, and I usually can see them by now. Um, she was I'll show you what tank she was from in a second. And uh, I'm kind of hoping to get babies and start maybe, uh, you know, trying to keep a certain line alive that basically came out of mutt. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I've also tried to start putting all my crushed coral in bags to make it easier to clean. You would think that said I would have cleaned this tank better, but no. Bruce! Bruce is here. Cool as heck. Has his own five gallon all to himself. Got a heater in there, got a filter. Gets water changes every day. That's the way to keep it better. That's the way I keep it better. However you keep it better is fine with me. You keep him in a, in a one gallon bowl and never change water and he does fine, great. I don't really care. All right, shall we move on to the rack behind me? Slowly pan so nobody pukes. We'll start up top. Red Wag Platties, really nothing special about these guys. One of my original fish in the fish room. Uh, the tank, you know, it's got a lot of uh, algae on it. And uh, yeah, that's just how it goes. Basically, I keep this tank to supply my local fish store. I've sold them in auctions before, but they never really go for a lot because why would they? They're just pretty common, so. All right, down here we have Blood Red Wag Swordtails. Uh, and also blood red sword tails. There's kind of a mix in here because that's how I do things. And uh, most of these are grouts. I sold all the big ones um, towards the end of the fall. And uh, so, yeah, they're just growing out. These will pro probably also be for my local fish store. Of course, if you want to buy them online, on my, you know, from my website, michaelsfishroom.com. I don't have them on the website, but certainly email me. I'll send you a PayPal invoice and We'll make it all official if you want them. Here are the other sword tails, the high fins. I got five of them. I got, I have, I received, I bought. I don't know. Um, I got five at an auction and I thought for sure in the five there would be at least one male. And of course there wasn't. So I had to buy that black and red male with the black dorsal sword with the big sword from my local fish store and uh, hopefully we'll get some babies out of these guys there's a female down there looks like she's uh, getting ready to drop some fry I mean not any minute but if the lights were off probably she'd be dropping fry so we'll see what happens all right here's Latan's tank I have two blue phantom plecos one of them is Latan I've named him after the beast soccer player from Manchester United Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the Swedish wonder boy, as I like to call him. If you are a soccer fan, you know who I'm talking about. If you're not a soccer fan, get a life and watch soccer. Um, I don't know where the other one is. Probably on the back of that sponge filter, but I'm not really going to disturb him. Oh, oh, I see his tail. Can you see his tail? Behind the uh, tube on the filter is his tail. So Zlatan's on the glass, the other one right there. Um, let's go down. I'm going to go back in my chair. My chair. 
All right. Black Panda Guppies. Uh, this line came from Corey at Aquarium Co-op many years ago when he actually sold fish online. And uh, I did add a few females from Super Breeder Steve. And uh, the reason was, did I add females? Yeah. Males? I think I added males. I added fish from Super Breeder Steve because uh, I needed uh, some more genetics. And I was only getting females. And I can see there's quite a good mix. There's quite a few fry in there. If I can get these fry to grow out in the next uh, two and a half weeks to a, a more noticeable size, I will bring them to NEC and have them for sale there. But there's plenty for sale now if you want. I do sell fry packs, a five fry pack, and I do sell pears as well. Still the best seller in on the website are these black panda guppies. Next door we have a net that's kind of weird, but uh, the chocolate mollies. We have the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate mollies. These, uh, I probably should pay more attention to them, but look where they are. The last tank on the rack on the bottom. You know, that's where you put, you know, mutt guppies and don't care what happens. But maybe I'll be moving these guys to try to pay more attention to them. But they're just not breeding like I want. I thought for sure I'd have quite a few now and be able to sell them on the website. So uh, I'll probably bring a pair to one of the auctions I'm going to. Either my local, probably Bucks County Aquarium Society. That is the best auction around. Uh, it's a $1 entry fee. So you pretty much make 100% of what you sell. Um, and great family atmosphere, great food. Uh, I think I was there for eight or nine hours last year and I had a great time. Anyway, I'll probably bring a pair there to sell. Obviously, if you want a pair, you can email me and we'll work something out. Um, you know what? I'm going to go sideways now. These are Kim's Koi Angels. Maybe we'll be able to send them next week, depending on the weather. And then I have three smaller blue zebras that are for sale. Uh, I'm going to bring them to auction if they don't sell before that because I want this tank. The plan here is to do exactly what I have up here. So you see there's three 20s and a 10. I'll probably put the three, tw three 20s and a 10 here and just drain them right into my little slump behind me. Um, I haven't really decided. You know, I could keep a 55 here. I don't know. Um, Hitter's off. Electric bill is killing me. 73 degrees in here right now and uh yeah so that's that all right we got the ladder we're scooting i might have to fold this stand by all right scooting now look at this disaster over here if you remember over here this is the goldfish tank that i drained and i have to thoroughly clean out and this is a 30 breeder it's a great size tank uh, for growing plants. Unfortunately, I never did that. This was my Molly and catch-all tank. Sold all the fish uh, to a subscriber of mine we met. He lives in Philly. And uh, we met and uh, I gave him a bunch of all the fish out of here and a few other fish to help uh, help him with his breeding project. So good luck to you, sir. And uh, yeah, so here's another, you know, four foot space. I can fit three more 20s and a 10 or something else. Not really sure. I got to get these tanks cleaned out and then figure it out. So uh, this old school light, which I thought was going to be great for growing plants, pretty much as an energy hog. So I have to unplug it. I don't know why I have it. Empty tank here. These were the black and blue sword tails. I sold them and look, I see a fish swimming in there. What the? I checked like nine times. Oh, there's no fish left. There's no fish left. There's no fish left. There's one fish left. I don't know if you can see with the glare. There's one fish left in there. See him? Yep. All right. Yellow, lemon yellow cobras. Uh, just growing out the colony right now. Um, you know, still, I still think, uh, there's a bunch of just females and one male in there, but you can see the male there. And then I think the rest are just females. I don't know what happened to this colony. I don't remember. I had, you know, 
a, a poop ton of them. And then uh, I did some breeding outside with half the colony. And I don't, I don't really remember losing any, so I can't tell you. I'm sure one of you guys will remember and tell me. Uh, sunset hyphen, hyphen sunset platy. You know, just another thing. Actually, this was one of the first fish I got at a local fish club auction at a local meeting, a local fish club meeting, local, you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, I, they're kind of cool. They're, you know, a little bit different than a regular platy. All right, second row. Lair tail hyphen sword tails. Mostly juveniles and fry. I do have, uh, there's one male and one female, two males and one female adults. They kind of hide all the time. Uh, Pink pastel steel nebula co colony that I devastated by putting a heater in there and killed all of them because I sucked. Yep, I did it. My fault. I put a heater in. I didn't really think about how hot it was going to get, and it got too hot, and I lost pretty much everything but these four or five fry. So we'll see what these guys, if these guys grow up. I've asked the original seller how many, you know, how much they'd be to ship, and. Uh, his shipping cost was like crazy and like i know how much it costs to ship and i don't mind paying for shipping but he wanted to charge me double what it would cost him and i wasn't too happy with that so he'll be at the bucks county auction and uh, i'll buy fish there so mutt guppy tank one of my favorite tanks in the fish room i just love all the plants i love all the different guppies like look at that little endler oh that's i was gonna say is that uh his tail or is that poop what do you think? And we don't need to concentrate on that. Uh, love mutt guppies. These guppies are, if you want to keep fish and just have vibrant colors and see breeding happen, you know, see fry grow and you get guppies like this. Doesn't matter what they look like. Doesn't matter, you know, what they breed with, but they get really cool colors. Now, sometimes you'll get them, you know, muted out. You got to take care of those. Feed them to your Oscars. All right, Black Moscow's. I've already sold some fry to this tank. Uh, Jenna from JJ Aquatics put me in touch with one of her customers who was looking for some, and we met on Sunday also. And then I met him at my local fish store. It's like he followed me, but he didn't. Uh, quite a few fry in here. There's been at least two drops. So these ba bad boys will grow out and we'll throw them up on the website. Uh, really like the the dorsal fin on these guys and the delta tail is quite nice too so yeah all right this tank houses regular albino bristlenose plecos growing out a fork and these were supposed to be american koi guppies and very quickly when i got them they dropped fry and all the fry grew up and looked nothing like the parents I mean, they're still kind of cool, but I can't call them American Koi because they don't look like American Koi. I don't know what happened here. I spoke to Super Breeder Steve, who's the one I bought them from, and he's like, his breed pretty true. So I don't know if something got in here, which obviously based on my history is quite possible. Bluegrass and redgrass guppies. I took most of the males out because uh, I think I bought 10 on eBay and there were two females in the 10. There was a, a, a drop in here. Uh, not too many fry survived, I don't think. Um, not really sure why, but whatever. Oh, also Calico Bristlenose Plecos, dual breeding for profit tank. Kind of a thing for me now. Um, I like these Plecos a lot. I like them better than just regular albinos or regular bristlenose. They're kind of cool with the pattern. That's a pretty funny picture. Hey buddy, how you doing? Uh, one breeding cave in here, one breeding cave in here, just in case. Once they get a little bit bigger, we'll probably put some more stuff in there for them. Again, most plecos like wood. Every tank with plecos has wood in it in my fish room. This tank with this one strange fish in it had the real red-eyed albino, real red-eyed albino guppies. So those two, uh, oh, there's two fish in here sold those to um mr posey i think is his name on youtube and uh shipped those out to california and he should get those on thursday all right moving on black mollies nothing special here 
some layer tails. I keep saying I'm going to pull out the layer tails. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then I never do and because I'm lazy. And But I finally have tank space, so maybe I will. Snow White Mollies. There's a couple frying here that are getting big. Um, and this Snow White Molly has black spots. Again, got them from Super Breeder Steve. And he said they breed true for him. So I'm not really sure what's going on. If you know anything about molly breeding, why did my white molly get black spots? I mean, a blackfish getting white spots, at least I could try to cure ick, but I don't know what that is. Help me out, people. Pink pastel, no. Gosh darn it. What are these called? Peppermint platies. Pink peppermint platies. Say that three times fast without spitting. Um, yeah, just fry grow out. And of course, one or two extra guppies in here it seems like that's a theme in my fish room i gotta stop that uh this tank it was very strange i had five or six from an auction um i had a couple of drops rather quickly and those guys grew out and i sold quite a few um and then all the adults died one by one very slowly and i really wasn't sure why i did a, a large volume water change and treated with everything i could treat with and all these, all these little fries seem fine now and growing up. Fry packs are available on the website, although I probably will only sell one more because I want these guys to grow up and continue breeding them. So if you're interested, hit up the website, michaelsfishroom.com. All right, this nasty tank is, um, what are they? Orange Flash Epistogramma Cocotoides. Now, unlike my brother from another mother, Mr. Science Geek, I haven't had any survivable spawns. I also haven't really paid attention. You can see the tank's pretty dirty. Um, when I get back from any sea, I will probably be redoing this whole tank. So hopefully everybody's good until then. A little moss on the outside. All right. <clears throat> German half black AOC guppies doing well um fairly prolific breeders quite a few fry in this tank which of course are all hiding now and uh yeah not on the website yet but if you're interested certainly email me i will sell them of course red russian lace this is a really slow colony for me um and now they're all hiding but the males look spectacular you'll have to take my word for it yeah i don't see any males all right, so the guppy, the female guppy behind me, this, she came from this tank. And um, I love these guys, which I don't know what they are. I think they're a combination of three different guppies, but you guppy geneticists sure can tell me what made them, but I love them and I want to try to keep them. I want to try to breed them like that. So, you know, if they don't breed true, I'll, I'll call or I'll pull the other ones, put them in the mutt tank, but keep these. I mean, that's a gosh darn good looking guppy if you ask me gosh darn it <sighs> this ricky is killing me i hate it but what are you gonna do all right cobra guppies red and green uh this is one of my two tanks of cobra guppies and you can see that there are some other you know different varieties of the patterning in here um, like that one is spectacular. I'm going to enter at least one of these guys in the guppy uh, contest at NEC. Just, you know, just for fun. You know. We'll see. Because I think I have some pretty nice looking guppies. Not not all of them, but some of them look great. Jarawi Lazuli line guppy. So I have the original male, which I think... Mm, I don't know where he is but at one point it looked like I had one male and about 500 female babies and I put a heater in here hoping the next spawn would turn to males or some males and uh, there's the original one right there and um, it turns out I have about 50-50 I guess they needed to grow a little bit and show their color but the males are a light blue with uh, a little tiny bit of pink in them and uh, they have, some of them have a layer tail, some of them have a lower sword tail-ish kind of thing. So, not on the website currently, but going up soon. As soon as I can, uh, 
as soon as I can do it because they these are pretty cool and uh, apparently they're pretty rare they come out of a breeder out in Malaysia I think the Jarawi farm, fish farm all right second tank of cobra guppies pretty much listen to what I just said for the last tank and there you go blue diamond <coughs> very popular on my uh, website because they look great and they're inexpensive unfortunately I currently don't see any males in the tank uh, so we need some of those babies to grow up and turn male or we need another male so uh, yeah we'll see what happens there um, but I mean even the females look great look at that one looks like we got a couple ready to pop so that'll be pretty nice Japanese blue lower swordtail like these guys a lot they never do well at auction because they turn white or see-through in the bag because they're stressed so these will uh these might come with me to NEC if I can find a small enough tank for them and uh, of course on the website soon I say that a lot don't I I gotta get my crap together uh, half blacks these uh, were all juveniles and of course there's one gosh darn it one neon sword tail in there <sighs> um, yeah growing up nicely boys and girls pretty prolific breeders and hardy if you're looking for some good guppies uh, Tanaka maple leaf guppies sorry about the wonderful camera work my arm is getting tired all right Tanaka maple leaf guppy, a red guppy with a little bit of a layer tail. Um, again, I thought I had a lot of all females in here in the original male, but it looks like some of those as they grow up, they're turning male. I say turning male, they're always male, I think, but they're developing more so I can tell they're a male. Yeah, whatever, I'm tired, leave me alone. Uh, purple delta guppies. These are the guppies that Angelo from Canada has. I sold him my best lucky male and he gets fry like every 15 minutes i mean i have a ton of fry in here too but they're still growing up so i can't tell if they're male or female yet um there is one older like sub-adult male i don't know where he is right now nice purple tail um sometimes there's a little yellow hue in the tail as well which is kind of good looking kind of good looking yeah what do we call these blonde red guppies i think that's what they're called pretty basic guppy um really nothing special there these are steel nebula females i have only females in here hopefully we'll get a nice drop of fry considering pulling one of them but that never really works for me so um yeah gotta get this line back breeding well they were really nice looking so hopefully we'll get those back soon uh these are a different purple delta guppy these are from uh hypnotic aquatics daniel anderson he's got a new um auction site finbids.com is back up and running if you want to take a look there um that female we thought both daniel and i thought was really sick and i treated with Levamisol, then I treated with Fenbendazole Flake, and to be blatantly honest, every other fish in the tank looks great, and she's still alive, so I'm thinking she's just jacked up. But I mean, look, sunken belly and everything. We try, I tried, uh, you know, and she's six, eight months old, so I don't think there's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling because I'm tired. This is an all male guppy tank. And these are the extra males I have when I don't have enough females for them to keep busy so they're not harassing the females. And you can see some of these males are really nice. There's an American Koi. Uh, there's a Steel Nebula, Nebula Steel, whatever. Bluegrass and Redgrass guppies in there. So extra male tank, no need for cover because uh, Sorry, I'm just looking at the bubbles. I have one sponge filter that's not working and this one's like not working well. So I gotta see what's going on there. All right, fishy folks. Half an hour for me babbling about my fish room, uh, I think is enough. Uh, let's see, what are we feeding today? We have some cucumber for the 
plecos, we have some cyclops for the fry, we have some brine shrimp for everybody else. I've been trying these bug bites bottom feeder, and I have bug bites tropical formula for medium fish, and bug bites for small tropical formula for small fish. But uh, I think we're going to be fitting all this stuff. <coughs> I'll probably supplement with some flake and uh, go from there. So I hope everyone has a great, great fishy, no, what's today? Water change Wednesday. And if you're watching this not on a Wednesday, whatever day that is, have a great day. We'll end with the thermometer and hygrometer. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy water change Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, as I just said. I would expect a lot of bloopers because I'm exhausted. Can you pick up up? Can you pick? Can holy Jesus? <laughs>